Steffes Group, selling land and the equipment to farm it. Because of the roller coaster weather we've received in the last month, the ground has farmers anxiously waiting for an optimal time to get back in the field and intently seeking equipment that can handle whatever the consistency the ground decides to be that day. That type of equipment was just what we had to sell on Monday, November 12th at the Tom McGinnis Farm Retirement Auction. Hey guys, Bethany Kudrowski here reporting for Steffes near Hillsboro, North Dakota, just off the interstate. You've probably seen this farm site before as you're driving up north. It is the Tom McGinnis Farm Retirement Auction today and we're going to be looking at the major and large equipment. Some of them with some pretty nice creature comforts in great condition and you won't believe just how low these hours can get. The quad tracks and the case combine equipped with tracks seem to be on a lot of people's radar. With their dependability in the field in unfavorable weather, and specifically these ones having low hours, made them the hot ticket items of the sale. But there were others interested in additional items as well. What brought you to the auction today? Uh, Tommy's been a neighbor, I guess. We just came out to see some all the equipment sales, and we have a couple things we're looking at, some tillage pieces that he has on his auction. How did you hear about our auction? How did you hear? I guess... Uh, I follow it on the web and then I also get uh, your mailers that you guys send out uh, for all your auctions. Where are you guys from? We're from Audubon, Minnesota. Oh, so you came a ways, didn't you? Well, what is it, 70 miles? Not too bad. Okay, well, I obviously don't know my directions. Right. It's a real big city, you know, 500 people. Oh, absolutely. Right, right. Kicking up heels every other night. Yeah. <laughs> so how'd you hear about our auction? I hear about them all the time, I guess, online. We go to a lot of auctions, so... Really? Okay, so do you know the McGinnises at all? Or? No, I don't. I just know Scott, Brad, all those guys real well. Awesome. So are you looking at anything specific today? Super Coulter. It's more or less what we come up here for. Super Coulter and a pickup, so they look like they're really nice, clean. Here's a look at how the quad track sold. $170,000. It's not even half price, ladies and gentlemen. You know that and I know that. 170. Push the button, internet. 170. 160. 170. I'm 160. 170. Nobody's doing the math here. All those options, all those extra features right here. 165. Do that, ladies and gentlemen. Sold it. 165,000 dollars. Go. Hey, look at there now. Do you want to bid? 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 Who'll give 150? I'm 190. I'm going to bid 95. Anything less than 200,000 dollars, ladies and gentlemen, you're stealing it. 200 where? I'm a 195. I got it. Now two. Bye 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 in that quad track. 275. This self-propelled Case IH sprayer had an unbelievable low hour count on it, with only 586 hours. We also saw strong prices from our tillage and cultivator equipment, with the 2014 Case TigerMate 200 selling for $50,000. The track-equipped Case Combine was a long bidding battle between everyone involved, from the internet to live bettors, and even a cell phone war. In the end, it sold for $190,000. After that, I was able to find the buyer of the sprayer and talk with him about his purchase. So can you st uh, state your, your full name so that I know how to spell it later? My name is Michael Stetz, S-T-E-T-Z. Okay. I'm with Valley Egg Partners, Barnesville, Minnesota. All right, so Michael, how did you find out about our auction today? Oh, well, we seen it on an auction, or on an online auction. This song. Yeah. Was it on our website? Yes. Oh, right on. So why did you come today? What was your plan? Uh, we're looking for a second sprayer. Uh, ours was hit in, in an accident and total out. So we've been, we, we leased one last year and we're looking for a deal, I guess. And did you find it today? Yeah, I think so. I think so too. Man, this thing had only 500-ish hours on it. You can't, you have 586. You can't get much lower than that. So you pretty much had the buy at the auction. Uh, yeah, I'd imagine that. Or the quad tracks over there too look like they, they probably went for all right money. Yeah, that was a pretty good buy. And how do you feel about your purchase then? Well, pretty good. I thought we were going to get it cheaper than that there for a while. But. Well, everyone was after this, so you know what? <laughs> it takes two to tango. Yeah, it takes a while. Good but you, you came out the winner winner chicken dinner. Yeah, I guess so. Well, congratulations on your buy, and thanks for coming today. Yep, thanks. Thank you. Hey, guys, we're wrapping up today's auction with Tom McGinnis, and we had a great crowd with us here today, considering how cold it was. So thank you for everyone who could make it out here today, and a special thank you to our Internet buyers for helping make this auction the success that it was. We had two great purchases on our quad tracks today, and our tillage and cultivators also hit it out of the park. So to check out all of those prices and the rest of the prices for today's auction, you can head to our website at steffesgroup.com under our archived auctions tab. And while you're there, check out 
all of our news articles and an upcoming auction near you. Until next time, this is Bethany Kudrowski.